and then to go see my sister Carolyn. Yep. Who I saw a couple weeks ago in the Philippines. <laughs> that would be fun. But just want to show you the um, view going to Casa Grande. And yeah, I I would say I have a different perspective on it. And for me, it's beautiful because I only see, well, in the Philippines, I would say it's a paradise. Yes. <laughs> I didn't really appreciate it before, but moving here in the desert, I say, well, my country is really beautiful and it's a paradise. And even my office mates keep telling me, you know, Cindy, you live in a beautiful, in a paradise country. And I said, yes, I totally agree that. <laughs> Veteran wall. Okay, that's the word. The wall that heals. A wall that heals, and then it shows event parking. I'm actually gonna be a jackie. No, no, I'm just walking. There you go. There you go. I don't see anything against parking here, so. I don't either. War vets here for you, 24/7. Be careful getting out that side. Oh, thanks for for. Oh, not bad. <laughs> but thanks for the uh, heads up, though. Yeah, we're coming up on this. That it's actually quite a popular thing, wherever it goes. That the uh, Vietnam vets are getting recognition. Finally, forty plus years later. <laughs> Guess what I'm expecting? Mm. I'm really thinking of like the wall, like a really wall, like you know. Right there. Oh, that wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's actually a wall here. Oh, okay. I thought it just. No, no. This this just explains what it is and what they're doing. See, that's them setting it up. Not necessarily here, but setting it up. Oh, man, when I'm doing the kid that was doing Vietnam with Jim, they were really good friends. Yeah, because the Philippines would be about the very lower corner of that map. Yeah. So cool. The Baraki 
Are they putting names in there? Pardon? Are they putting names in the wall? No, there's names already on the wall. The wall in uh, Washington has every American that was killed from the very first person to the very last person. And that's why it starts out so thin gets to be the big main plaques and then tapers off really thin again. Gotcha. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. Now you can go on the website when you get home. But I think each panel represents. No, I can't be. There'd be way more. There'd be way less than that. Gotcha. I was gonna say I thought uh, that each one represented a year, but that can't be right because there'd be way less panels than that. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. But Jim and Dick both have friends yeah. that are on the wall somewhere. Oh. Uh, Dick, I think, found somebody's name that he knows. Really? That their name's on the mobile wall. And I'm not 100% sure if this is a complete list or if it's just a partial list. Afternoon? And that's a really common thing to do. That your friends or relatives that are on it, mm -hmm. that you'll go up and you'll do an etching of their name and where it's at. Yeah, the uh, well, some of the volunteers have got it, got access to it. But uh, there is a list if you know the name that they can tell you which panel, which line it's on. But they're they're engraved in there, so that you can. There's so many names. There are a lot of names. Unfortunately, there was a lot of people that died over here. Remember that movie, We Were Soldiers? Yeah. That they've got an entire section of one of these walls because oh. they were all killed right at the same time frame. Mm -hmm. wow. That they are listed in some kind of chronological order, but I'm not sure what the, the actual order is.
Oh, right there's part of it. Is that panel, the very top corner of it's listed 1950. The very top corner of that panel is listed 1959. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Imagine that. What did you think about the wall? It's, I guess, emotional though. <laughs> well, and that, that's kind of what the wall is supposed to do too though. Just like you're remembering those people, you know, that died and fought for the country and... I like it though. I like... I guess it's just so different back home because... You you saw the death march, death uh -oh. march in Bataan. You see when we go to intramuros, you cannot see their names, but here, you know, like every like, detail. It's just like I feel like in the Philippines, all the soldiers that fought, they forgot all the names. It makes sense. We don't have a a list, even. It makes sense. You kind of remember the battles, but not necessarily the individual soldiers. Yes. That's why it's just like, I got so emotional, you know? So, but, uh, well, and, and that's just a little bit of a difference in perspective, here, too. Yeah, I need a CR and we're passing one, so.